Hello and welcome. I am Harish, and in this channel, we talk about building without coding. And today, I have a new tool that I found, which lets you build websites without writing a single line of code or even worrying about the design. It works with AI, asks you just to share a prompt and create the landing page for you. You can try multiple variants and see which one works for you, and edit everything on that landing page before going live. With that, let's get started and see what this tool is all about. Alright, the tool is called CodeDesign.ai. You can check the tool, found the link in the description below or just type the website that I just mentioned. It's a AI website builder which lets you create websites or landing pages and then edit them and then deploy them to your website using their domain or the custom domain. And obviously, by now you know, it is not a free tool, but they do have a free plan where you can try the tool out and see if it is worth, worth exploring. Always try the tools that let you try before uh, paying which will also help you decide, especially with the number of no-code tools that are out there. A shout out to all the uh, founders who are trying to make building easier. If you go to the website codedesign.ai under pricing, you can see that they have, I think they have a lifetime deal online now, which you can also try if this tool is the one that you want to go with. This is not a sponsored video. I found this tool. Uh, I also tried it. It is very simple to create a landing page from this tool and that's why I'm sharing with you. If you go to the pricing page, you will see that there is a section called build your website using AI. Click on it, it will get you started on a free plan. Just create an account. Uh, once you click on it, it should take you to the create an account page. From there, we'll see how to build a website, right? Okay, once in the AI website builder page with a free account, all you have to do is enter the prompt of what website you want to build. And I, I came prepared this time with a prompt and this is my prompt, which is a landing page for a short link website, which lets you create short links or bio pages and other features also and has a very generous free plan. This is indeed a real tool called tiny.ltd, which you can try out. It has a free plan. You can create bio links, everything for free, including custom domains. But coming back to this website, you should give it a prompt and then click on generate website. If you don't have an account, like you see, it'll ask you to log in. I'm gonna quickly log in and show you the next step. Once you're logged in, you should come back to the same page and you should see that there is an option for selecting a language. You can generate websites in all these languages. I'm going to stick to English for the sake of this demo. They also have some other examples of prompts that you can try, but we'll get to that later. Now I'll click on generate website and let's see what happens. There are obviously in the progress is shown using some prompts of how you can leverage this tool, which you can see. And uh, yeah, let's see what it generates. There you go. It has a logo for the website like you can see and the tool is called link up you can click on it customize everything on the right side here all the options are available here created a section on the top and if you scroll down there are features then there is an accordion i believe which you can expand then there is the sign up section i think the for an ai and for the landing page requirement that we have this is a great example of a landing page like you can see, this is similar to the other tools that we have talked in this channel, uh, like Webflow or even bycode.com, where the elements are all editable on the right side. And you can see, it's not just basic text. You can customize to next level, which is change font, change size, change color, alter the space. Then you can also add custom component, right? You can add your own components if you're a developer, but if you're not, you can ignore this. Then there is functionality. You can click, click the function tab and add functionality, which is what happens if the user clicks on this, right? Choose what happens if the element is clicked or forward, unforward, pressed. All of these options are available. If it is a form file submitted, if you want it to do something when it is loaded, you can do a lot of options. But we are only seeing a quick demo of how this tool works. So you can click each of these and update by now, you know. And at the end, there is also a section where you can add custom elements. I'm going to click on it, which is at the bottom. It is asking me which layout I want. Uh, let me pick the two column layout. And in each of these layout, you can add your own elements, which is, if you click on the element, on the right, you can see that all the elements pop up, right? Now I'm going to put a simple, let's see, let's see what to put. There is a Google Maps YouTube link. I'm going to drag and drop the YouTube, see? And on the right, I can customize the YouTube. I this you can get from the YouTube video that you want to embed. 
it's pretty straightforward. And once you're done doing all of this, you can save and publish. Now, saving and publishing, you can do with their custom domain, which is their domain, not your domain, and save and publish, and it will start working on that that specific domain that is generated for you and your account. But we're not going to do that for now. I'm going to see what happens if we do region red site. I'm assuming it will design an entirely new layout for the same prompt that we gave it, right? So let's click on region red. Let's see what happens. Okay, just a few seconds later, uh, it said waiting time is one minute, but it is definitely less than one minute. Let's see what it created. Wow. This one looks entirely different to what we were as a first option. I prefer the first option though, I think uh, because it was more sleek, but this also looks better. It's not bad. Wow. This even has testimonials and a proper call to action section at the end. On the right, as you can see, there are also default sections that you can just drag and drop anywhere you want. Which means you don't have to necessarily use the same landing page that the AI created for you, but build your own one from scratch. Right? I just brought this entire section, which also looks good, right? But that is a quick demo of how you can leverage just AI building the entire landing page for you. Now, what I'm going to show you is let's go back to the home page, leave the build up for now. There is a section for templates. You don't have to generate something using the AI, like I said. You can either start with a blank site and drown all the elements that they have customized as per your requirement, like you do in Webflow or Bycode or any other website builder out there. There are also templates, which are pretty cool, right? If I want to create a uh, profile, personal profile, I can do so using this template. Let's quickly see the preview of the template. And then you can actually play with the template and see how uh, it looks when you are editing it. This is a quick template that is available. If I'm going back to the page, I can do so by doing open in playground and in the playground, I can actually edit the template and see how it looks or works and customize it and see if it is the right fit for me or my website idea. Right, see, same. You click on each element on the right side, you can edit all the options, right? Pretty cool. And like you can see on the top, there are multiple options. This tool cannot be covered in one go, uh, but if you want a detailed explanation or a bunch, bunch of more videos on building different types of websites using this tool please drop a comment below and let me know so that i can create that but otherwise this is a tool where you can see i'm changing the layout from desktop to tablet to mobile and it'll auto align and show you how the website will look on each of those devices with that we come to the end of this quick demo of codedesign.ai the link to the tool is in the description below click on it check it see if it works for you and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one consider subscribing if you haven't to the channel and uh, peace.